Let me paint a picture for you. Let's say you don't play your mate and friendlies because of pride. Let's say that you don't enjoy the feeling you get when you lose to someone you think you're better than with your main, especially if they're using secondaries. And let's say that you do happen to win with your pocket characters anyway, but it's all you happen to go in friendlies. Did it help you? Confidence in Smash is both required and dangerous to have. On one hand, it's good to have confidence in your practice and decision making so you not only make decisions faster, but so you don't have any doubts when you do have to change those strategies. On the other hand, too much confidence can blind you, either from things that are actively trying to help you or different perspectives that could have been the answer you are looking for. Building confidence and not losing sight of yourself can be a tricky thing to manage, but with the right amount of self-analysis, the willingness to learn, and the humbleness to allow losses to be learning experiences, you can build confidence in a healthy way. Now those three things I just mentioned get destroyed by players who don't allow themselves the opportunity to have their confidence tested. Does it suck to lose? Absolutely, but of all places to lose, friendly should be the one place you should be hoping for it the most. Your skill is ever-changing, and there are small things that can add up to your overall level as a player. If you don't put yourself in a position to lose or have your knowledge be tested, you'll just be making the loss harder in places where it actually mattered to you. Trust me when I say, even in a 100 game loss streak to that guy in Elite Smash couldn't even hold a candle to the feeling you have when you waste all your time and then go to a big tournament you weren't ready for.